Hey guys, Chris here and welcome back to another haul video. Now this week there's been absolutely loads of Amazon deals that have come in, but also I've got some Bricklink orders that I ordered absolutely ages ago. So this might seem like a massive order for this week, but these weren't all bought this week, they're just what's come through the post. So without hesitation, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, let's go through the Amazon sets and starting off with one of these smaller ones, I managed to pick this up, which is the Hidden Side Shrimp Boat for a staggering £13, that is it. So this is usually £24.99, but I got it for £13. Now, why do I think this is a bargain at £13? Well, for one, it comes with, as you can see at the top, four minifigures. So it comes with this really nice sailor character, it comes with another sailor, and then obviously the two main characters and the dog again. But that alone, you know, £13 for four minifigs is absolutely awesome. And then obviously it also comes with an albino crocodile, which is pretty cool. It comes with a little canoe as well as the big shrimp boat itself. And then it actually comes with a side build monster as well. So I just think that is absolutely fantastic for £13. You cannot go wrong. They still have this on offer at the moment, so if you get a chance, pick it up because it's a really, really good deal. And I think it's because basically they're getting rid of this wave now because obviously the new hidden side sets are coming out. So that's the first one. Next on the list is actually a set that I bought absolutely ages ago. And actually I bought this on May the 4th, which was when uh, Star Wars announced the A-Wing. And the reason that I didn't, I bought this and not the, uh, the UCS one was basically because I couldn't afford the UCS one. I thought it was a bit too expensive and it really wasn't my thing. So I, I like minifigure scale if you guys don't know. So I thought, Do you know what? Kind of tempted me towards this. And it came on a really, really awesome price of like 15 pounds, I believe it was, but it took like three months to get here. So. Anyway, got it now, so it doesn't really matter. So as you can see, it's a pretty cool set. It's like based off of the resistance colors from the Rise of Skywalker, but it's got two really cool minifigures here. So it's got Snap Wexley and Lieutenant Connix. So I think these are pretty rarish minifigures as well, which is quite nice. And just taking a look at the back, you can see kind of the cockpit and everything opens up. Pretty standard, but I just think it is a very good looking little ship. And I actually think this one looks a little bit better than the UCS one in some ways, but that's just my two cents. Great little ship and absolute bargain price of £15 again. So again, really good Amazon deals on at the moment. Okay, so last but not least from Amazon is actually what looks like a big set, but it's actually a really good price, which is this one, which was only £55, which is set 60203, and I believe it's like the ski ski resort or something, and it is still available at the moment on, Am on uh, Lego, so I'm surprised why this one has gone so cheap, but absolute bargain at £55. As you can see, it's got lots of little builds. It's got a snowboard shop. It's got... A uh, really nice kind of truck here, uh, ski toboggan kind of things, a nice big sn ski patrol here. It's got a ski shop as well, and it's just got nice little bits. It also seems to have, oh yeah, here it is. It's over here. It has a really cool little kind of coffee shop, which I thought was ace as well. So, taking a quick look at the back, as you can see, it just got lots of little things going on. Really, really cool. I love this kind of snowboarding area as well. And if you can see at the top, there are an absolute load of minifigures on this set. So, really, really good price at £55. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to use all of this in my city, but if not, I will probably just use it for uh, our Christmas sets and stuff, because obviously we absolutely love the Christmas sets, so this could go really well there. But I was thinking of doing like a fake um, skiing area, you know, like a kind of a practice a dry, dry ski slope and stuff, so this could be quite cool there. I mean, that could be then fake snow or something. So... I feel it pretty cool, we like the ski shop, so I thought why not, £55 is a great deal. Okay, so then going into the stuff that I got from Bricklink that came in, and here's the box already opened, but I'll go through the retired sets first, which is this, which is the, I think it's called the Skate Park House or something, set 31081, and I think this one is absolutely awesome little set. It's got some nice little features, now I'm not too actually keen on this main build, I was actually more intrigued on these side builds over here because it has a skate park there and a arcade kind of area there which I just thought looked really interesting with the arcade and the skate park so I think it'd be something that I can start doing in my city modifying this, I know you guys kind of like me looking at these 3-in-1 sets and then modifying them into the city for what I call my mini modulars so I think this is a great starting point for that and I thought this would go great, try and see what I can come up with uh, especially around the old park that I used to have. So this could be maybe a ski park area or it could be this really cool arcade that I could then maybe build into a bigger arcade uh, shop. So pretty pretty happy with that one. I think it's pretty cool. And I got it around 22 99 so I don't think it's much different to its RRP. So that was a great find. 
Okay, so, so next is a, another retired set, which is this one. And I picked this up because I'd already ordered the, the bigger ski resort, so I thought this would go really well with it. And it is set 31080, and I think it's just like a, a ski chalet or something. And I think this is really, really nice. Again, it's got two side builds. I'm not too keen on the side builds that come with this one, but I do think that this kind of house area could look really, really cool. And I did think that I could maybe incorporate this as the kind of ski slope, the dry ski slope, maybe remove the windows and have the kind of ski hire shop underneath. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are on that. But I thought that was kind of a, a good idea. So I thought, why not? It's a great kind of set. And it was, again, I think this was like £22, so it was not too bad. Whereas I think they're around 30 on Amazon because they're retired now. So I picked it up. Hopefully this will be good. If anything, again, it contains a couple more minifigures, more wintry ones, which would be go great for our Lego City at wintertime. And last but not least in the sets, before I get on to just the little minifigures that I bought to pad out this order, there's one big order, which is why it kind of padded out with these other little 3 one sets. And that's a really old set, which is this, which is the SpongeBob SquarePants set 3834. And I think this is called like Neighborhood or something, Neighborhood Friends or something like that. But obviously it's second hand, it has been opened. Um, I'll open it in a second just to show you what's inside. But this is an absolutely awesome set. Now, I bought this for the city. Um, but as you can see, it's got SpongeBob, Patrick, and it should have Squidworth. Yeah, it does, as well as Gary as well, which is great. So it's got some lots of nice things. It's got some cool details inside and playability. But this is gonna be a facade in my Lego city. And that's because I'm thinking of having SpongeBob's house in the underwater section as like a little cameo, because I do like having these little memes. I don't want it to look like a too meme Lego city, but I thought this would be great to have underwater as like a little Easter egg. And I think it'd go really well with the new National Geographic sets that we're getting as well. So I might buy a couple of those at the front and then in the back you might see SpongeBob's house and stuff. So I thought this was absolutely awesome. So let's open it up quickly just to see what's inside. And it actually does look like it's been really well looked after. So I was quite impressed when I took a look at this. But the manual looks really, really good. The quality doesn't look too frayed or anything, which is absolutely excellent. And then actually the minifigures look like they're separately bagged up as well inside. So as you can see, there's Patrick, uh, there is Squidworth, and there is SpongeBob, as well as Gary is over here as well, I think. Oh, no, that's the television. Gary is in here somewhere, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh, there he is, he's down there at the bottom. So that's great. I'm hoping to build this very shortly, probably tonight, because I want to build this super quick. So let me know if you guys want to see a review of this or like my thoughts, because obviously this is an 11 year old set. Um, so I'll probably be getting much more SpongeBob stuff, but I love SpongeBob SquarePants, I think it's an Ace cartoon, so I wanted to have him in my city. And then last but not least, I bought a couple of minifigures to pad this order out, which were just the cheap minifigures, but I thought I might as well show you. So starting off that is this really cool little waiter guy. I think he looks really nice. I think it can be kind of nice in the Parisian restaurant or something. I don't own the Parisian restaurant yet, but you never know in the future I might do, so that'd be a great one to kind of get for that. Next is this kind of airport guy. I think he's supposed to be a helicopter driver or something, but I thought this was a great minifigure to have. As you know from my last haul, I got a couple of airplane stamps and stuff, so I thought this guy could maybe go great in the airport that I'm going to be doing at some point. So I thought I'd get him whilst he was super cheap. Then I got, these are all kind of similar, but I got this mountain climber here. This one is built. And I just thought these guys look pretty cool. They're quite nice. Had some nice detail in the in the uh, in the the clothes and stuff and the torso. So I thought, why not? I don't know where I'm going to use these, but I just thought they were great and they were really cheap. So I thought I'll get them whilst I had the opportunity because I don't have any in my collection. Here's another one. I think he's exactly the same as the other one, but he has a different head. So again, same torso. Here we have kind of a thug-looking one. I don't know if he's supposed to be a kind of um, climber as well, because it looks like he's got kind of that kind of stuff. But again, I just thought it was pretty cool to have in the city, different uh, clothes and stuff. This guy is a scientist, which I thought was pretty cool. Now I want to have like a museum or something at some point, so I thought this guy could even be in the museum, or he could be, you know, a space scientist or a scientist somewhere. I'm sure I'll have some kind of cool alien area. Maybe Area 51 would be pretty cool, because I thought that would be quite nice to have like a secret base in the rocks or something with Area 51. This is another one of the rock climbers again but this is the lady version so she's got the nice hair and the uh, face piece and stuff so again another pretty cool minifigure and then last but not least is this kind of big diver character which i thought looked really really cool and again as i said i'm doing a sponge or square pants area so obviously i'm doing an underwater area so i thought he would go great for that okay so getting all this stuff put together 
Okay, so as you can see, that is all the stuff that's come through my door this week. Absolutely awesome week for Lego. Stuff I've been waiting on for ages. Stuff that came through a lot quicker than I expected. And this, super excited to build this uh, SpongeBob SquarePants set. But let me know which one your, was your favourite in this week's haul. And let me know if you found any awesome deals this week as well. Because there's been so many of them. I've had to skip on a lot of them because my wallet just could not keep up with it. So anyway, that's it for this week's video. And have an absolutely awesome day. If you enjoyed the vid, then if you haven't already, please like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. And as always, keep bricking it.